Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today we will make this cool dot select effect in Unreal Engine material. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I'll right click, make a material, and dot, and then I'll also make an instance of it. And let's preview it on a planar, and here also. So basically first you have to make a dot and for that you can just take a radial and let me make this material unlit and just connect it here. To make it sharp you can increase the density like 50 and if you want to repeat that dot multiple times you can just take a texture coordinate and uh, tiling will not work here because of the clamp. If you will increase it like 4 by 4 it will change the size of this but it will go into the corner like this. It will not repeat but what you have to do now multiply it how many times you want like four then take a frac so it will repeat that gradient so now it will repeat four by four but you just want uh, like uh, a row so what you can do you can mask it like this is five you can mask two layers of top and two bottom from here or what you can do because I am using X, Y both here, what you can do, you can just take the X from here and take the append vector and take the Y directly from here because we don't want a repetition on the Y. But this will happen. It will stretch it because Y is just one. So it will stretch that. So to fix that, you can tile that mul uh, multiple times, like this is five. So I will tile the Y five times. So it will make this smaller, but you have to make it down. So you can just add like minus two. So it will go down here. Okay. And now you can increase or decrease the number of circles you want. Then you want different color for each. So let's say you have this multiply with the red color and these are all same color and you want for each uh, circle different color what you can do take a texture coordinate multiply take a floor and then divide and use the same value this five in both because you want the same thing here five so if i preview this will happen it will give you uh, let me also take the mask from this like the this channel it will give you these lines strips and these have different shading from 0 to 1 you can also saturate if you want random like black here you can do also do that with the noise texture but for now i'll just use it then we want to use this red color so i'll just take a hue and Depending on this 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 like that, I will change that. Now you see. Now each circle will be uh, of different color. Cool. Now we have to make the brightness of single and then we can switch between these. So what you can do now, let's say you have again a texture coordinate, if C and you have the green channel again. And then you take the step and because we are using 5 so I will divide one by uh, like if I divide it will be like 0.2 so now it will make a line you can add this line here just to check if it's working and let me just save So this line exactly covering one circle and when we will, if we will shift this line from this to this it will again uh, jump to the next. So if you add value here like uh, offset or you can call it select, select and then connect here what will happen let me show you. Now with the parameter if I increase it's increasing or decreasing so it's selecting all these but I want just one by one so what you can do after this just take a frac and nothing else and just save it now see but the thing is 
it is in between but if you put the values exact like 0.2 it will covering one and then 0.4 the next 0 0.6 the next 0 0.8 the next one the next and let's you have this red color let me move it here if i take the lerp and i use this after saturation in the black part i want this red in the one uh, white part i want the brighter part of this red like 50 and then i will use it here i don't want to add it now and let's see how it will work so if i save now it's changing but again the same problem 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1 but when i'm like using it like this it's cutting through so i don't want that so to fix that you have this value divided by 0 0.2 because we have this 0 0.2 0 0.4 uh, uh, the, the distance between these divided by 0 0.2 then round and then multiply it again by 0 0.2 and just connect here save and now see when i'm changing the value it's just snapping to the next and looks cool now one more thing you can do just take this mask and connect this black and white to the mask and cool you have now this select dots cool i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye